Igogo Ekiti, a tranquil town in mobile local government area of Ekiti State. Bubbled for two days beginning from Thursday, the 28th of April 2022 to Friday the 29th, with thrills of excitement as the cross of quietness gave way for bursts of happiness. <laughs> All these uncommon lovely sceneries were all for one woman, a rare gem, a God-fearing woman, a sweet mom with a great personality, the late Lady Chief Honorable Mrs. Teresa Adi Ajayi, the Yeyemeto of Igogo Ekiti. The celebration of life for this great woman began on April 28 with the wake service which held at Mama's residence at H22 Okio King Street, Igogo Ekiti. The choristers from the St. Joseph's Catholic Procathedral Church gave a good account of themselves as they rendered lovely songs. These songs were intermittently spiced with recitals of the Holy Rosary. The scriptural reading and the gospel reading eventually culminated in the homily by the parish priest of St. Joseph Catholic Procathedral, Igogo Ekiti, Reverend Father Emmanuel Abiodunjo, where he used Mama's life as a reference point and charged everyone to ask themselves the question, why am I here on earth? <laughs> What am I doing here in this world? Why am I here? I am alone now. I'm very much in the pataki. To live, it's in your power. To be more easy, to feel what you need. All the things to be able to see you there. On most of the way, you have to be in your own way. Hey, you are alone too. No, I don't want to die in the very end. You got to cover your own catechism. Only. To know him, to love him, and to serve him. That is why we are here. Mama, the reason for the gathering, laid still in one of the rooms in the house, which was beautifully decorated.
The wake service ended with the Thanksgiving session as everyone joined the family to dance. The fun fair continued the next day as the beats from the drummers blended with the jigs of the children of Mama, who trooped out to dance in a colorful procession, even as the reason for the procession was tossed and turned by the poor bearers, and later to be pulled by a horse cart round the Gugwekiti. <laughs> The train eventually stopped at the St. Joseph's Catholic Procathedral Church. The corpse was received at the entrance of the church by the team of priests. Lovely hymns by the choristers set the pace for a smooth sail of the proceedings. The hymns transited into tuneful songs, even as the children are shone in either white agbada fabric or in shiny yellow lace and purple headgears. While extolling the worthy virtues and attributes of Mama in the sermon, Reverend Father James Olaugo sang to rhetorically ask death, where is thy sting? <laughs> With a sprinkling of holy water and the spring of frankincense, Mama's soul was prayed for. Likewise, there were prayers for the children of Mama.
the offertory and other properties of Catholicism, then followed after. which the Thanksgiving session came with some lovely moments of dances. The Catholic Bishop of Ekiti Diocese, Most Reverend Felix Femi Ajakai, who presided over the affairs of the service, offered some words of advice to the children of Mama and urged them to keep up with their legacies. The pedigree of the discipline is corruption. Only a more more Mama, Papa, Mama, I tell you people one thing that you want to share with them. What do we do? The social group of that time, ninety, who are me. This led to the end of the service as everyone filed out with the crooning of the recessional hymn. <laughs> Mama was finally laid to rest at the church cemetery. The lowering of the casket and the dust to dust rites marked the end of the 85 years journey of life of Mama Teresa Adikumbi Ajayi. Born on August 18, 1936, in Igugu Mama Teresa Adi Ajayi was a fully fledged, trained, and certified teacher. Mama's 35 years of meritorious service in teaching took her to many schools around Ikiti State. A leader by every standard, Honorable Teresa Adiajayi was the first woman to contest and be elected as the councillor in Moba local government area in 1990 in the old Ondo State, 
where she was the minority leader of the house. She played a leading role in the Better Life program of late Mrs. Miriam Babangida. She was the president of the Kowon Group in Igugu Ikiti and was a member of the first local education authority in Moba local government. A woman of many awards, she received the Papal Medal and the Iyariri of the Catholic Women Organization in Ekiti Diocese, and also an award for the National Council of Catholic Women Organizations in Nigeria on 31st October 2015. In 2009, she was honored with the title of Yeye Meto of Igogo Ikiti by His Royal Highness Obasonde Adewumi Okimbaloye I, JP, the Onigogo of Igogo Ikiti. The celebration of the beautiful life of Mama continued shortly after with a class reception which held at the St. Michael Catholic Nursery and Primary School, Igogo Ikiti. <laughs> From the colorful decor to the seating arrangement, everything under the two large marquees on the field was majestic. Also stately were the availability of varieties of sumptuous meals and an unhindered flow of wines and other compliments. <laughs> Guests enjoyed themselves to the fullest as they dined and wined and even bubbled rhythmically to the exciting music of Aka Royal Melody Band. Everyone was satisfied with the way Mama's children treated them like royals. From the first to the last child, Mama's children all did well, giving their late mother a befitting burial. One after the other, all of Mama's children were called up to dance, from Dr. Omolara and Mrs. Funke Kutei, to Mr. Tunde and Shadi Ajayi, <laughs> Bye-bye, don't know what it is.
to Mr. Biodon and Mrs. Fumilola Olorun Femi. Shoma and Jai. Finally, Tai Lulu and Mrs. Kendi Norman Idausa. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
The dancing arena was a place for colorful and delightful swerves, swags, and sways for a better part of the evening. <laughs> The Maladies also saw the wonderful cultural displays of the Iki cultural troupe from Benin City, Edo State, as everyone relished every thrilling moment. <laughs> Red Carpet TV spoke with some of Mama's children and other guests. I'm going to miss my mom because my mom, when she calls me, nearly every day, nearly every day, here, she calls me, I'm going to miss that voice, that sweet voice. Nelson, so I'm gonna miss that voice of calling and checking on me. I have nobody to check upon me anymore. So I'm gonna miss her greatly. And I pray that my mother will continue to rest in peace. And she's looking down onto us. My mom is a loving woman, a faithful wife, hardworking, lawyer, dedicated, industrious, a role model. Sense of humor, and um, she's very frank. There was a day, I can't really remember the woman in this village. On environmental day, the woman was arrested by all these uh, white people. So when the people are, she, she, they were taking her to somewhere which I don't know. So she called my mom from upstairs. That, ah, she said this in her uh, dialect. That, ah, mommy, I'm going to be my lover. My mom said, hey, come be all the boy. So we all laughed. That's what, what an answer. <laughs> You know, <laughs> she's, she's very frank, and I love, I, I have that, that's her attribute too. She speaks the truth, you know, not many people like people that always say the truth, but she speaks the truth, she doesn't uh, mean words. We're very proud of her, we're very happy at how she lived her life. She, she was very good for her, and she is still the fear of God in us. And we are very happy to have been brought up that way. But I miss everything about her. She was very, very good. She was very good. Oh, we love that good, good. Oh, look at that good. Oh, that's nice. She was scary. Thank you. I'm on the big level. Stand. This is the plan. That they were all I want to say life. She gave us all the training to be a good person in life and to be successful in life. We're going to be sad. My mom is the sweetest person or the best mom in the world. It will sound like a cliche, but it's actually true. You know, everybody, when somebody dies, people say, oh, my mom is the best. But this is actually very true. She is actually the best. She is very dutiful. She was a dutiful mom, dutiful wife, hardworking, very honest. Um, she's very clean, like you heard in church. You know, she can arrange her wardrobe five times. She said, oh, this one is not right. I will do it. She will scatter everything and start over. It has to be neat, you know. 
she, she and she cooks very well that's one thing people have missed she cooks really really good food you know yeah more we miss the way she she speaks to us she, she was very strict she was very she was very strict when she was alive but we miss all of that we didn't realize that but we're gonna miss all of that we miss her side her voice you know she has a very good um when she talks to you 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 can you can feel the genuine love you know so we're gonna miss all of that about Mama, to me, when she was alive, was just my mom. No, so many things that we shared together that I'm really going to miss about her. She was very pleasant, God-fearing. She'll give you the best advice any mom can give you. I really, I'm really going to miss her. I'm really, really going to miss her. But my joy is that I shared her last moments with her before she died. And I pray that Almighty God should grant her eternal rest. Mommy, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I pray you rest in perfect peace. I would say she is very tolerant, cool, calm, and collected. She's put together in all. I will meet my mother-in-law for her love she is so loving and tender she doesn't play with her grandchildren at all she loves them to perfection and she has a special name for all of them and she calls each one by her giving by the name she gives to them so you're surprised that when she calls you and she's asking for one of her grandkids She's calling them in the name that she gave them during her naming. And you are so amazed how she is for each child. She calls them by the particular name. She has a very great um, memory. We miss you, mommy. Okuma. God bless you. I'll miss you every day, like I said. I thank God for knowing you and for experiencing your love. Okuma. Kumomi. Mama is wonderful. Perfect. In dealings with human beings. She chose words before she pronounced anything, and her words never miss her target. She will tell you what she sees in you. She will tell you what you need to, to do if you are not doing things right. And she's always saying, uh, if there's anywhere she made mistakes, somebody that will correct herself immediately. It might be, and uh, she never used the word. You back cross your way, you walk. She are using a E for me, and I appreciate that because she's my mom, and we God grant her personal rest in peace in Jesus' name. Uh, my mom is a very nice woman. Um, I've been married to my wife for like 30, 34 years. She has been very supportive of us and from our daughter, and they are from Ekiti. And actually, that was when I went to meet them. It was the first time I ever went to Ekiti. Uh, they were very welcoming, nice family. Um, my really, they welcomed me as I've lost my mother, and she was, she is, she indeed replaced my mother. She's been very welcoming. She's been very nice to me. She's been very supportive. She gave us very good advice. Um, she's been a very, very wonderful woman, and um, we're all go I'm, very, I'm going to miss her a lot. From the Red Carpet TV crew. We felicitate with the children of Mama for giving their departed mother a well-deserved funeral. And to Mama Theresa Adikumbi Ajayi, we say good night. <laughs>